Make sure you go over to blankslaps.com and use the discount code UFO for 10% off your entire order. Blankslaps.com has everything you need for the sticker game. Before I get into this video, I want to say a bunch of things. First of all, thank you so much for 10 million total views on my channel. I really appreciate it. I can't believe this milestone. 10 million views in total. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And it's funny because it happened directly on my birthday too. So that's a really awesome birthday present from you guys essentially. And another thing I want to mention is I've restocked Red Belly Culture with a bunch of sticker packs. And I've also restocked it with UFO Secret Ink. There's only a few more orders available of that. So definitely get in there quick if you want some of that. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So how to not get caught doing graffiti. Now, first and foremost, I have to say that I do not condone the illegal activity of doing graffiti, but we'll just say figuratively speaking, these would be measures that you would take. Keep in mind, this is very extreme and a lot of it is not necessary. So the first and foremost thing would be do not write your tag on your personal property. And this would come down to a lot of things. A big one would be your house or anywhere on your property or anything if you still go to school, you know, you you don't want to put your tag on school books or your bag on your desk especially if you're sitting at the same desk every time they'll know who you are anyway so that's just a no-brainer if you want to practice your tags and you want to practice your style and you just want to practice in general do it on scrappy bits of paper make sure you throw those pieces of paper in the bin and if you want to go to the next extreme put it in your neighbor's bin or even burn them keep in mind it's very extreme you don't have to do all this i wouldn't even have a sketchbook i wouldn't have a black book. Keep your sketchbook hidden in a safe place if you got it or just don't have one at all. If you do take photos, don't take them with a phone, take them with a camera. And if you do get them developed, keep your photos hidden in a safe place or just don't have them at all. Doing all these things will make it harder for them to build a case on you. And the only way for them to prove that you're doing graffiti is if they have hard evidence and hard proof that you're doing it to begin with. So if and when you do get raided, they won't find anything. Another big thing would be keep a low profile. Do not tell anyone that you are who you are. Never tell anyone your real name, what area you're from. Be extremely mysterious. If you want to link up with other writers, don't tell them a single thing about yourself. Keep it completely graffiti related only. No personal life stories, nothing. The more information that you potentially share with other graffiti writers increases your chance of getting caught. Because even though snitching is frowned upon within the graffiti scene, when writers get caught, they are usually asked for information on other writers. It's possible that someone might spill the beans about you accidentally or intentionally when being questioned because they might try to work out a deal with the writer. Hey, if you tell us who this person is, we'll give you a less of a fine. Or if you tell us who that person is, we won't send you to prison. Another big thing would be never tell anyone about your plans. More importantly, go out there and do stuff by yourself. Do not write your tags close to your home or neighborhood because by doing so, you'll let off your position and they'll eventually work out a trail that you live around a certain area the more they see your tag. So definitely venture out to different suburbs, different towns if you're going to get up. Another big thing is wear gloves. Use disposable gloves, ones that you can throw away in a random public trash bin. If at any point you have any type of ink or paint on your hands or your skin, or even your clothes, that's enough evidence in of itself. You want to get rid of any paint that's on your hands or on your clothes if any paint gets on any of them. Another big thing is make sure you don't fit the profile of a graffiti writer. This simply means when bombing, don't dress and look like a writer. Some of the best camouflage you can wear is something that you would never see a graffiti writer actually wear. It's a really good way to throw a lot of people off, especially if you're doing stuff in the daytime, which I highly suggest you do not do if you're already going to follow all these overly paranoid ways to not get caught. But also, check cameras before you tag. If you see a camera, don't do graffiti in front of it. Obviously, wear a mask. And if you want to go a step further, make sure no part of your skin is showing. Wrap yourself up like a mummy. Do not let anyone see you. Just be invisible, okay? Just be invisible. Never hit your favorite spots over and over again. Try to keep a random pattern of places you hit. Wipe your fingerprints from empty cans if you get caught. If none of this works for you, just run for your life. And if you get caught, you're not a murderer. You're just a graffiti writer. Backyard Prince is going to be giving away five 500 custom eggshells to anyone who can do this. Simply go over to TikTok and follow Backyard Prince as well as leave a comment and a like on any of his videos and you'll be entered.